Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ronnie Beyond Paradise, and today we are going to take some photos of nature. Hey. So I've been planning to do this video for a few weeks, but it wasn't happening because of quarantine, and I couldn't get out. And today we are finally out, and we are going to do this. So I will take you behind the scenes of some body shots of the leaves and stuff. That's all, and I will teach you how to edit it to get a moody photo like this. So. Get into it. and let's head back home and dump the footage and edit it so let's go So we are back home and let's get into Photoshop and start editing, right? So this is the first photo we are working with right now. And the first thing you have to do is get into the camera raw app or if you're using Lightroom, you can follow the same settings that I'm using in camera raw and use that to get a similar, almost exact photo in <laughs> Lightroom. So control shift A to get into the camera raw app. And the first thing uh, normally when people edit is like decrease the highlights and whites increase the shadows and decrease the blacks add a little contrast like this is a normal editing method so here I want to teach you uh, a different method that I use uh, I call it inverted editing or something like that so the thing is instead of brightening and like giving the image a good look we do the exact opposite so negative two or three to the exposure so it's like two stops under and to bring up the highlights you increase the highlights to 100 and whites to 50 and the blacks to a 30 or 40 so right now we get a, a different moody effect already and if you want to see the before and after here it looks so with that basic edit we get something like this so this is our starting point so to get this into a good exposure i'm going to increase the exposure a little bit and uh, let's get into tone, tone cup so this is where everything happens the moody tone so create three points 65 65 like i like it the exact see <laughs> my problem is not yours so 90 and 90 so we made three points and the first thing you have to do is like 
increase this point to get a faded effect so i like it at 40 for moody photos and i create one more point here uh, increase it a little bit and decrease the highlights a little bit and from here we start messing with the curves to get a darker and moodier photo depending on your liking you can mess with it so i'm happy with this curve adjustment right now and then we go back to basics and mess with shadows and blacks this is where we get most of the darkness into the background so this is the before and after and the next thing sharpening 45 percentage radius like it about like four of 1.4 or 5 masking i like it always around 70 73 -ish. okay details i think it's fine then adjustments for this image you can mess with later split toning so here's the next thing so what i did is like gave the highlights 20 percentage of green and the shadows a 10 percentage of orangish red or maybe yeah orange red is looks better <laughs> and after that balance with the greens so i like what i came up with and the next thing go to settings save settings modified save as presets so normally i save it in my folder uh, in construction yeah maybe so dark moody will give it that <laughs> for now save it and press ok so this is the dark and moody effect and we will apply the same effect to the other uh, pictures and let's see so this is another picture that i took a few months ago we'll do the same thing so we'll go to the settings load settings dark and moody preset so that's easy and for this image i like it in black and white so the split toning will turn it off so this is the before and after see so much better right so it's a one click preset but you have to like make few more adjustments i like it a little, little more dark mess around with the settings and you will get a photo like this so wait i think there's another picture that i liked uh this one okay same thing lot settings dark and moody preset see so here the highlights are super blown out so we'll reduce the highlights a little bit and the whites too uh, and, I want, and i want the shadows a little bit more prominent maybe <laughs> and increase the exposure to see those leaves still here the highlights are a little brighter so this is the before and after so this is how you get a moody photo and i'll drop a link in the description you guys can download this preset for lightroom photoshop and also follow me on instagram i'll be posting few of the photos there and yeah like comment subscribe hit the bell icon for more videos see ya